Good morning and welcome to Marty's Rocks. How y'all doing today? I've been showing off some of my collection today, uh, different rocks from uh, uh, my uh, collection, specimens, and but I wanted to show you one of the first rocks I ever polished. And I found this piece in my friend's backyard. He's He's been collecting for over 60 years, I think. His name is Jake Jacobitz. He's my uh, friend and mentor. And uh, until he realized that people were seeing him on the internet, I did tell him that I was interviewing him and putting him on the internet, but he didn't realize, he doesn't know anything about computers, so <laughs> he does not speak in public. He's very bashful and shy. I anyhow he he I told him he was a real rock star, not just in rocks, and it really embarrassed him that people might see him all over. Uh, and he has some great stories, some wonderful tales, and uh, anyhow he also has a great pile of rocks in his backyard. He's a prospector, one of the he. he He's been involved in over 50 mines. He's named a couple dozen rocks. And this was just one I picked up in his backyard. It was one of the first pieces I ever polished. There's not a name for it. It's just black jasper and a matrix. But it's also, a, it, it polished, this is my first polish on a, uh, an expando drum. And I don't know how many years ago it was. This is a long time ago. And I've never put it up for sale. It's always been one of my favorite rocks. And it's a fossil. As you can see, there are seashells in the back of this thing. This was underwater. Where, where we're at, in the Owyhees here, and uh, where this was found, that was once a giant lake. It was called Lake Idaho. Before that, it was called... Uh, uh, Bonneville Lake, and then the uh, big Bruno Jarbridge uh, super volcano erupted. <laughs> Everything goes everywhere. We become it's, it's basalt all over the place here. And we get the Snake River Valley, and we get a lake called Lake Idaho. It's a huge lake, an inland ocean. And this is where this piece came from. It's at the bottom of a lake, and you can still see the sea urchins in it today. And anytime I can cover my face up with a pretty rock, it's it's a good thing for y'all. <laughs> and uh, but this has been just a beautiful specimen. People have asked me where I found it, what it is. It's just black jasper in a matrix. This was the uh, other piece that was cut off that I cut off of it. And that was all there was of that rock. Well, there was one, there was a huge, actually a really big piece, and I just, I just polished the front of it. But I sold it to a gentleman in Minnesota. He was looking for a reason to uh, buy some more rocks from me. He's a post, postman in, Min, in Minneapolis. And the Henningkamp family happens to come from that area. And so he was kind of looking for a sign to convince his wife that he should buy some more rocks from me. And he had this package he was delivering and no one was home. And so he was reading the label and it was addressed to a Henan camp, <laughs> my family name. And if that wasn't a sign, then who the hell knows what is because he bought a lot more rocks and, and he bought the great big piece of this. And uh, he's a really nice gentleman. I like doing business with him. And I uh, hope, he, hope he loves my collection and I hope he sees this on YouTube. I'll have to write him and uh, see if he's uh, watched any of these. But... If you're watching, these are the, this is the smaller two pieces that Big Rocky bought, and uh, you got really you got a great price on that one. <laughs> so, thank you. Uh, hope you all subscribe, like us, and uh, uh, we're very new to this, and uh, we thank you. Can't thank you enough. And uh, talk to you next time, and I'll show you some more of my collection. <laughs>